We went to the Gore Psychiatric Museum in St. Joseph, Missouri. It also has replicas of mental health treatment, even how to take care of people who they thought were witches. So what do you think that they did with witches back in the day? Let's save that till the end. <laughs> save that till we get inside? And we're going in, so I'm uh, Exterminate. It's going to be all four floors here. Um, there are, we do have other museums here as well, including the doll museum. Nope, just the floor. All four floors. We want Introdu <laughs> Introductory videos in there. We are right, right here at the entrance. So we want to go. So that's the introductory room here. Okay. And the stairwell is behind you, and you just go up the stairs and to your right. Is there stuff back there to see or do we just go straight up? Uh, there is a few things back there, mostly about the architecture of the building and stuff like that, so if you're interested in that. All right. It's easier to keep well than to get well. Introductory. Oh, it looks nice out there. Even though it doesn't look anything like that. Open its doors to patients in the Beta, Missouri. Still in operation today. Who should be responsible for the care of the mentally ill? The individual, family and friends, community, the state government, federal government. Okay, so we're not going to watch the introductory film. That's going to be too long. Built to house 250 patients. The state lunatic asylum number two in St. Joe had nearly 3,000 patients by 1930s and 40s. Okay. Robbie, have you ever been to a psychiatric hospital? Yeah. This is your first time? Yeah. There's a lot to look at. This way. That's other stuff. Okay. Oh, this is what people have swallowed. This, um, How did she even get a female patient from Southwest Missouri died suddenly at the age of 31. Um, autopsy reports say that upon examination, doctors found 1,446 objects in her stomach. How would she even get those down her stomach? Just swallow them. You can't swallow those, you would choke on them. No, she got it down. Would you swallow a pin or a nail? No. Me neither. Psychosurgery, ooh. Oh, yeah, it was the tamping iron went through his head. He survived. I did a tamping iron. It was a railroad incident, I believe. Um, it was uh, using dynamite to remove obstacles for the railroad. Spark ignited explosives, driving a large steel rod through his left cheek and off the top of his head. He lost an eye, and there he's holding it. Wow. Can you imagine going that through your 
surgical tools. There it is in his head. Oh, no. That's a lobotomy. Ice pick lobotomy. Well, they used to do those. They thought it they thought it helped you. They thought it helped your brain, but what did they do? Well, you can see they stuck this up okay. under your eyelid and poked at your brain. Sever connect connective tissues of the brain. It traveled the country in his low lobotomobile, trans doing lobotomies, performing lobotomies at mental institutions. Oh my goodness! Look at oh my goodness! They're they're doing one there. I hope that person was out. This is a surgical table. That looks kind of hard. Okay, you're not. <laughs> uh, in the United States, approximately 40,000 people were lobotomized. Can you still get lobotomized? No, they don't do that anymore. Yeah, you can say better. Oh my goodness. They used to pound that into your skull. Used, used to pound the pick into the skull. That's the pick. Ah! Oh, okay. Here's the fever therapy. And they put you in there. They. Uh, oh, it's not even water. They just heat it up in there. They cured many people of syphilis, but were caused burns. I don't think I'd want to do that. Did they have a choice? Oh, lobotomy. <laughs> I don't think so, Ravi. Oh my goodness. This is electroconvulsive therapy machine. Oh, insulin coma therapy. Uh, treating drug addicts. That looks like shock therapy. I wouldn't want to do that. I'm glad they do none of these. <laughs> they do none of these. This is torture. I don't think this really helped anybody. <laughs> but when you have a mental health problem, they were, I guess they were, they thought it would work. Hydro, oh, what's this? A toilet seat. Stick a bucket under there. Wait, no. This was the yeah, colonic oh. <laughs> irrigation room. What did they do? Irrigate Wait. your back end. That's called a... Yeah. Ugh. Ooh, let's leave that room. <laughs> Hydrotherapy. Now that's sticking you on water. It was used at asylums and hospitals to calm agitated patients. Warm baths have soothing and relaxing qualities. The cover over the bath have kept the water warm longer. That actually... That, that sounds all right. Yeah, but they would be hot. Probably, probably made it too hot. Now that one is a wet sheet treatment. I don't think I'd want to do that one. I wouldn't want to be wrapped in a wet sheet. Yeah. Restraints. That's a straight ja jacket. Oh. <laughs> Camisoles, such as the one here, looks more like a straight jacket to me. That covers your hands. So, oh, look at that. She's got those on her hands. Restraint cuff. What are these? Tranquilizers. What? Restraint ring? Dentistry. Look at all these items they used on your teeth. Many of these instruments date back to the early 1900s. Wait, look what they do. They oh, gosh. Your teeth. Oh, they just take your teeth out. Dentistry, a cure for mental illness. That's not really a cure, <laughs> that's just a torture. <laughs> 
Well, I, mean, I don't know. These, these kind of look like modern instruments. You just can't see them because you're not looking. Because <laughs> they got that gas over your face. EEG room. The first EEG machine. Small electric charges in the brain would aid in the understanding of brain function. So it's more shock. Rec oh, the EEG records brain electric activity. So I don't think it's shocking. It's just recording your what your brain does when you're sleeping. Okay, solitary confinement. Wait, oh, do you remember this part? Remember? Oh, yeah. They would, uh, got this them. person thought if he collected all these cigarette packs, he would get a new, a new wheelchair. wheelchair. And then they, he didn't, but they think the hospital gave it to him anyways. <laughs> wow. He worked hard for that. Solitary confinement. Now, Robbie, you sat for a few seconds in solitary in the jail, in the squirrel jail. Did you like it? No. Would you like to sit in there with your hands tied? No. <laughs> and here's the crazy room. <laughs> so we're all ready to go in it? Oh my gosh, whoa. There's a lot of stuff in here. This is the stocks. Can you fit your head in here? <laughs> We'd have to get you a stool. <laughs> Dashing with ice cold water. How do they even make that? Wait, Ooh, that, look at that. That's like they soak you with ice cold water. Oh, I don't think I'd like that. Treatment was used for severe forms of I can't even say that melancholia and hypochondria, including aggregation, rage, and constipation. Should we look behind it? What is it? I don't know what's back there. That does not look fun. That looks very cold. Oh, he's just on a stool. They would just lock you in this Dowsing. box. Dowsing. They would just lock you this in this box. This was a restraint cage. Yeah. Replica of a restraint cage that was constructed and used at the hosp hospital in Topeka, Kansas. Oh, that, that looks awful. That's like a, like a coffin with a cage on the top. Hollow wheel. Um, you would have to run in this. Designed with like a treadmill, you were imprisoned in there. Unless you were completely most motionless, the patient had to run forward or backward. And the decision to move about was his alone. Any attempt to damage the wheel could easily be prevented by a shove to set the patient in motion. <laughs> the aim was to divert the patient from his apparent to lead him back from the world of his dreams to the world of reality. That sounds like pure torture. I wonder what that even feels Bath like. Bath of surprise. Oh, oh, you would be sitting up there and then they would just drop you in there. The Bath of surprise was a 17th century device for calming disturbed mental patients. Calm? They were dropped suddenly through the trap door into a tub of cold water. So supposed to Suppose have... through a violent shock to break the chain of delusional ideas and perhaps create conditions favoring sane thinking. Wow. Um, I know this one. They would just tie you up to it and maybe light that on fire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They'd just tie, they would tie you. You up to this that light, this is it, the lunatic fire. box. What? The lunatic box, sometimes called the English booth, the coffin or the clock case, was used during the 18th and 19th centuries. The victim was placed in a device and had to remain in a standing position until he or she became calm. 
Yeah, I'd, I'd say that's the coffin box. Ooh. Let's see, Robbie, how much room would you have? You're standing in front of it. You'd have plenty of room since you're just a little kid, but yeah. a tall person Read wouldn't. This one. Read that Witchcraft. One. Today is almost unbelievable that sober and pious townspeople could gather in the village square and cheer the burning or torturing of a woman so demented as obviously not to know that what she was doing. Yet only three and four hundred years ago, people not only cheered, but felt that in such practices they were doing their sacred duty. This is burning a witch at the stake, Robbie. Yeah, why would they? They thought she was a witch. Not a witch, I'm not a witch. But you are dressed as one. They dressed me up like this. They didn't dress me up like this. No! 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 Yes! 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 A bit! A bit! A bit! This isn't my nose, it's a false one! Bill? Well, we did do the nose. The nose? And the hat. But she is a witch! What do you do with witches? No, 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 no. Those were... The people that were cheering were the crazy people. Right. They were... Definitely, weren't they? Bedlam. Um... He was confined by chains to an upright massive bar attached to the wall. Oh my. The term bedlam, which we now know today to mean chaos and confusion, was derived from a shortened or slang version of Bethlehem. That's what oh. it looks like in there. Now, would that be fun? Well, to me it wouldn't be fun, but the, that wasn't that doesn't look good. I wouldn't like that. It looks terrible. And I can't even see. Can't you see in there? No. Same kind of box. No, it's another one of these. It's yeah. another oh. one of those. And this dungeon? Is another one of those. Oh, you're gonna have to look in here. Oh my gosh, a dungeon! Jeez, look. Is there a person in there? Her arms on the ground. I can't see. Here, ready? Jump. There's three people. Hey, a stool for little kids like you. Her arm is on the ground. <laughs> okay, right, I didn't see this thing. That's another one of the restrained box things. This is the Utica Crib. Named for the New York State Lunatic Asylum where it was heavily used to confine patients who refused to stay in their beds. I could definitely break out of that. It gives a similar appearance to a child's crib. This is like the torture room in here, isn't it? Yeah. There's the guy that got a pole going through his Stomping head. Stomping on the patient. Oh my gosh. Some different restraining devices. The I'd say dungeon. so. Now that's just a chain to a dungeon wall. Bloodletting. I can't where... see. You just cut them and, and you see and you just bleed and they hope that you get better. I can't see. I want to see. Patients were sometimes bled frequently in order to rid them of the impurities thought to be present in the bloodstream. They use a special knife, a cupping device, or leeches. <laughs> Afterwards, a patient was usually weakened and unable to offer resistance. Therefore, thought to be improved. This thing would put you in and just spin you around. Swing. Look. Oh, you had to sit in that and they would spin you. Which had been a revolving device. The patient was either turned on his own axis while seated in a chair or while lying in a bed. Uh, the patient was given 40 to 100 turns per minute. Hmm. The centrifugal force drove the blood to the brain, causing intense anxiety, false sensations, fear of suffocation, nausea, vertigo, vomiting, all kinds of things, and sometimes brain hemorrhage. Okay, I really want to be in that. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, the tranquilizer chair. You would just um, uh, sit in there and poo. A patient could be strapped to the chair until he became calm. The chair, which had arms, legs, body, and head in a state of total immobility, was intended to heal through lowering pulse and relaxing the muscles. Hmm. While you were in there, they would perform such treatments as bloodletting by knife or with leeches. The patient's feet might be placed into a tub of scalding hot water. You want to sit in it? It doesn't say you can. You sit in it first. Don't. Hi. Oh, gosh. Put your head under it. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to get out. A, cur a curtain would be in your head. Can you get out? Oh my gosh. I can see through that. You didn't sit down very well. Bloodletting supplies. Oh, blood stick was used to tap on the blades, forcing them through the skin. Bloodletting. No, those are leech jars. Leech jars. <laughs> History of bloodletting. The removal of blood from the body. Well, here's how they, there's when they put you in this uh, swing and they turned you and pretty much made you sizzy, made you nauseous. Robbie, what did you think of that chair? I don't like it. Wait, I didn't really see this stuff. Oh, there's somebody demonstrating it. But they're not actually doing no, it. No, they're just showing you. Intelligence test. person had a problem with collecting ties. What do you think? Yes. And he had a problem with collecting. Well, he, he collected those to get a new wheelchair. Remember? Yeah. Oh, here's some artwork. They drew this. They could uh, learn to play music. Music therapy. That actually. That sounds like a good therapy. Yeah. What is this? Different. Oh, let's look down here. So they would make you sit and rock with your arms tied. Their arms aren't tied. Well, they're or, probably just demonstrating it. Building for men, and that's that's just thinking, just be entertaining. What? They they're just playing billiards and bowling and rocking for fun. Yeah. Now here's a patient in a metal rocker with a pigeon on his head. He actually had no choice to get out. Yeah. This type of cane chair was the first to be purchased for use on the hospital wards. I thought that's a pretty good rocker. By the 1960s, the living conditions at the state hospital were terrible. Patients were housed in large rooms, came with beds, spent most of their days heavily medicated in rockers. Let's go. Let's go. 
So if you were severely mentally ill, you'd be stuck in a chair all day rocking. With a cat. Floor, floor drags, polished warm floors. You had to drag that around with you. Pull it for hours before allowed to rest. Tended to keep the patient occupied. And that's another way to torture somebody. And clean. Make them clean for hours. Is this a, what is that? Like, aren't they made? Ceramic pieces uh, created by a young patient during the 1970s. Occupational therapy. They're kind of good. They're good. He was mentally handicapped, but he displayed considerable fine coordination. Those are pretty good for just a young child. Wait, how old was he? Doesn't say. Probably like 15. Okay, I think there's a basement too that we have to go, or lower level that we haven't been down, so. Artwork. figure was made by a patient, um, his name was Robert. That's my name. <laughs> What's this? This was an old refrigerator. It doesn't open. What, what is this? Oh, that's another one. What is this? Uh, respecting privacy or erasing history. Museums have been critiqued for telling the stories of the rich and powerful, leaving out minorities, the poor, and powerless. Currently, state law mandates that patient information be kept confidential. Does this erase patients from our history or respect their privacy? Yeah. Getting your hair done at the beauty parlor against the rules. Any nurse who smokes will be asked for her resignation. Spittoons were a common feature. Nurses could not use tobacco, but were expected to empty the spittoons. Let's go see what's on the lower level. Lower? Yeah, I think there's one more level. There's a bedpan. Nurses emptied bedpans. This is a wheelchair, Robbie. That's an old wheelchair. Can we also have one area where the students ride cars? Oh, where, oh, uh, where is that? I don't even know where that is. Oh my gosh, there's more stuff oh, here. It is. Okay, go down there, I'll be right there. Whoa, look at this. This has more stuff. Is this the workout room? <laughs> Nothing is workout. This is more treatment. Maybe for injuries. I do see what you mean. There's a treadmill, there's a bike. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go see the cars. Whoa. Oh, I remember, I, 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 I totally remember this This is one. neat. Oh, wow. If you could, would you buy it? Mm, absolutely. Yeah, I would definitely buy this. You think you could ride it? That kid, that boy up there made it. There's the info about this, hold on. He's good. The Yellow Rose and Jukebox Hero. Just uh, go back upstairs because they're gonna close and they're gonna close on. Hold on. I know they are. They're gonna... What? Wow, that's really cool. Look inside this one. Is Please this one... do not open car door. Is that kiss like the band? Yeah, kiss on the... painted on there, huh? That's... They did a good job of painting. 
I sure did. These are some talented kids. Did, 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 did he get a present from Santa? I'm guessing. Aww. Wait. What's the student gain experience most children took for granted? A student is enjoying his first ever visit with Santa. Aww. That'd be horrible to be a kid here. Oh, okay, one more area. We got a couple minutes. Here. That's yeah, a, that that's is. big. Big. This is like jumbo things. Oh, you can like just pull the seats out. Look at that's what they had to sit on right there. How is it? Comfortable? Not really. Hard? Well, it kind of feels like sitting on a wood chair. <laughs> Not very. Dietary scales. It, it kind of felt like it was going to break, but it, it wasn't. It wasn't going to break, but it kind of felt like it. So you better get going. Swinging churn. Wait, I know. So, we had... We, we if they're if they're closing on us, would they have to come down here and lights off and things? Uh, yeah. Whoa. You know what this is? No. This is the morgue. Are, they like, there's they, a bone saw. They actually take out your brain and things. Yes, they do take out your brains. I don't know. Microscope. Look, there's a brain. It's not real, but yeah, that's no, where you would put it. You would. Oh, it would be cool if they actually like made your foot black. This is a real. It's just a, it's just a mannequin. I know. Would they like actually ah. do that and like take blood, like squirt blood out of your foot? I don't think. Oh. <laughs> what well, is in his foot? I thought they did it out of your neck, out of your vein and your neck. You know what these are over here, Ravi? Originally located in the building when it was constructed in 1969. What is this? Those are the freezers. Those. That's where they put the bodies in to keep them cold. Oh, kind of like uh, the, kind of like people would freeze their bodies. Yeah, that's the they so die. they won't, you know. Hmm. So they won't rot. Mm-hmm. No, you wouldn't be alive in there. Oh, they'd wait until you die. Well, that's where they put you, yeah. If you die? Yeah, your body. But you would have to wait until you die, right? Well, of course. They'd have to wait. This is, the morgue is only, is only Let's go. for deceased. Okay, five o'clock. There he goes, he's ready to leave. <laughs> Come on, that wasn't scary. Yeah, it wasn't scary. I'm not saying it was scary. I'm just saying. That was interesting, huh? Oh. Very. Okay. Psychiatric Museum. What did you think about it? Tell me some things. It was kind of creepy and cool. Interesting facts. Creepy though. What do you think the worst thing was? I think uh, the torture cells were the worst. Sticking you in the box, a tiny little box. Do you think so? Yeah. Okay.